In this video, I want to discuss the basics of the distributive law. So in this example, we have 5 and in brackets 4 and 3. What we want to do is to take 5 and multiply it with the result of 4 and 3. Now an easy way to do this is to say, well, 4 plus 3 is equal to 7. So 5 times 7 is equal to 35. But that's not the distributive law. What I want to show you is how we can rewrite this. So what we can do is we can say, let's take 5 and multiply that by 4. So I take the result of 5 times 4 and I'm going to add it to 5 times 3. So 5 times 4 is equal to 20 and 5 times 3 is equal to 15 and the sum of that is equal to 35. So if you compare that to saying 5 times 7, that is also equal to 35. But this is called the distributive law, where we distribute the multiplication to the numbers on the inside of that bracket. And where this becomes useful is where we need to multiply bigger values with one another. So if I say take 27 and multiply that by 122, what you can do is you can rewrite 122 as 100 plus 20 plus 2. This is the same as saying 27 multiplied with 100, so I distribute 27 to 100, and then 27, or I add 27 multiplied with 20, and then lastly I would add 27 multiplied with 2. And this is simple calculations, so 27 multiplied with 100 is 2,700. 27 multiplied with 2 is 54, but because I multiply with 20, I simply add the 0. And then 27 multiplied with 2 is 54. And now if I add these three values together, it's not too difficult, we'll have that is 3,294. And that's where the distributive law, which we have just learned, becomes very useful when we need to multiply larger numbers with itself.